If you're the new security guard, then welcome. I'm going to be your personal guide that will give you hints and tips along the way and to help you get comfortable at the new and improved Charles Pizza Zone. Now before we get started, I wanted to tell you a brief backstory about the previous location. To keep a long story short, the, the, the pizzeria was very successful, made lots of revenue, and attracted more customers than driving them away like a certain brown bear who gave me nightmares when I was just five. <sighs> Unfortunately, it ended too soon, because in late November 2009, there was a fire that occurred in the kitchen, which sadly killed five employers. The company unfortunately filed for bankruptcy after that. All hope seemed lost for the poor company. Until in early 2014, CBC Entertainment decided to team up with, believe it or not, and because we didn't really have a choice, Fazbear Entertainment. Yeah, I was shocked that the company was still open after all these years. You see, they're still open for business, they just don't make animatronics anymore. And I could see why. What did we do after the partnership, you may ask? Well, construction began on a new restaurant, and soon, Charles Pizza Zone 2.0 opened its doors in March. What are the new improvements? Well, with some inspiration of the original Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, we have a variety of arcade games, multiple party rooms, and upgraded versions of Charles Rabbit and his friends. They are now super kid and adult friendly and have a much wider range of movement. You should come here during the day. It, <laughs> it was booming today. Well, anyways, on to your job. You'll be monitoring the building till 6 a.m. to make sure no one moves and... Uh, and th th you think that's probably it, right? Well, actually, no. You'll, you'll also be monitoring the characters to make sure they don't get too close to your office. And if they see you... The thing is, we have a rule for endoskeletons that they must always have a suit on. And since the building is dark, they'll see you as a naked endoskeleton, most likely. And we'll try to stuff you into a suit filled with animatronic devices, crossbeams, and pretty much the stuff to make an animatronic work. Which can be painful, and you'll, it'll kill you instantly. So that's why there's steam at your disposal. When the animatronics appear in your office, let off the steam for a few seconds until you notice that they're gone. But don't let off too much steam, because inhaling too much of it can cause suffocation. So always, so always use caution when using it. And about the window in front of you, I recommend lining up every once in a while if you can't find someone on your cameras. And don't worry, they can't break through the glass. Well hey, I'll chat with you tomorrow, now check the lights, don't use too much steam, and watch your back. Okay, good night.